Hey guys, it's Craig here. Welcome back to Vinyl TV. Thanks for coming back. Today, I want to talk to you about cleaning. Um, cleaning vinyl. Cleaning your stylus. Everything. So, you know, what you need to do to keep your turntable and your vinyl in good working condition. Got a few things to show you here, and there's got something down here that I'll bring into the frame in just a moment. Cleaning your vinyl is important. Um, of course, I think if you're watching this video, you probably already know that. Um, I bought a, a few years ago, one of these um, RCA things. Um, I'm, I'm not happy with it at all. It was a waste of, I don't know what it was, 30 bucks. You can see that the the surface of it is not flat. I mean, how the hell can you clean a record when it's only going to touch the center part? And so you're going to have to press it down pretty hard in order to get it to cut, you know, touch the whole record. And then, of course, that turntable is going to slow down. You're going to mess up your motor, and then you're going to turn it by hand. Uh-uh. No, I, I'm not into this. You know, it comes with the fluid. Um, I don't know what this is. Who knows? But uh, it, when it was back when it was a disc washer or whatever it was originally, I think it was a good product. But now it's an RCA thing. Um, can you see that? I've used this and I wasn't happy with the results. Okay, didn't do anything. And and the, this thing, the surface of this is, I don't even, there's not even any hairs on it. It's just like, <laughs> okay, so enough, enough of that. I don't like it. So that's just my thing. They need to make it so that it works. And it, it, as, it, as it is right now, it doesn't. So that's that. The next thing I ended up buying was um, recommended to me from a, a fellow DJ. And um, it's this, um, there's lots of different brands, uh, but it's, I'll just take the cover off. It's a, um, you know, brush. And it, it has the uh, carbon fiber hairs on each side of it. And in the middle, it's got the, and of course, you shouldn't really be touching these things. In the middle, it's got the um, the felt. And I find that it works very well uh, for just, you know, cleaning before you play your records, getting the dust off. As far as how to use it, I actually didn't plan this part of the video. Okay, so let's grab a let's grab a record. I'll just grab one from up top here, it's whatever it is. Oh, it's John Denver. There you go. Okay, so I'll just grab grab something here. <clears throat> this record needs to be uh i don't think it's extremely playable right now so um it looks good but i think it needs some work but we'll just put it on there okay so uh then what you what i do is i uh start the thing turning and i where did i put it there it is you know i start you guys i'm sure you can see this i don't have two cameras right now um start with the the you know, one side of it I'll do it with my other hand, like this, and just lightly. You don't. You have to press. You don't have to press down. You don't. You know, and just lightly let it go around a few times, and then lay it flat, and let that go around a few times. And you know, you don't want to stress the motor on your turntable. And then just go to the other side. And then there's different schools of thought with this. Some people go off like this. Okay, some people go off like this, and some people will go into the middle like that and touch the center post to get rid of the static. That's a, the theory anyway. So, um, so personally, all I'm trying to do is get rid of the dirt. So I, I'll do it with my normal hand that I normally do it with. I start here, I go ahead, I, uh, whoops, I, I let it go for a few rotations and I lay it flat and basically no, almost the weight of the thing itself, just letting, and then scooping it off. That's the way I do it. And I, I don't think there's really all that much of a difference. You know, you stop the record and you, you look, you know, to see if there's anything left on it. And um, there's another version of, you know, this carbon fiber is the one with the, I don't have one. I used to, but I gave it to my son. Uh, it's the one with the flip, you know, the little cover that flips down and you flip it up and you use it. That one's good too. Okay. And that one's been recommended by some other popular uh, vinyl enthusiasts. So, you know, that's what, um, 
Uh, that's what I use for, you know, just before I play the records. Now, we'll talk about the stylus in a moment. As far as cleaning, like deep cleaning the records, there are options. Um, and if you want to spend some money, uh, you can get different apparatuses that, you know, that that do this. Uh, some of them are more expensive than others, as you know. And one, some have these, you know, vacuum systems and all that kind of thing. Um, you know, I've spent so much money on this hobby that I just, I'm trying to find things that work for less money and, you know, I don't want to spend $700 on a record cleaning device. So I ended up getting, um, start bringing parts of it in case you recognize some of these things. Um, just a little bottle of fluid there. And I ended up buying a spin clean. Um, well, this is, this is not a commercial for spin clean. I'm just telling you what, you know, what I ended up doing. So for those of you who haven't, if you've been living under a rock um, and you haven't seen this, of course, it's just, uh, you know, you, you've got the rollers in here and they go, there, so you can, the record sits in there like this. You put the, you put distilled water in. I do recommend distilled water. Uh, I don't recommend tap water because of minerals. So try to use the cleanest water you can. I actually bought a water distiller. <clears throat> I have other uses for it though, so I'm not I'm not that crazy. <laughs> so you know, and you so you put the distilled water in, and oh, hang on, we forgot, we forgot. You get the brushes, and you, know, you guys have seen this. I don't. I think you can do away with not watching me demonstrate this thing too much because you've probably seen it, and I'm not here to focus on any one thing. So, uh, yeah, there's, these are the brushes. They're they're felt brushes. They're nice. I, I feel like those bristles are getting into the grooves uh in my opinion okay when i bought this i wasn't sure how it was going to turn out but i actually was playing playing one of my good rush albums one night and it had a big bad skip or something in it and i thought and it's brand new so i i try i used i tried to you know get this this thing going you know this rca thing that's got the fluid and i i tried to do it with that excuse me and uh, I made it worse. So um, I said, okay, I've been looking at this spin clean thing for over a year now. I'm going to buy one. Now is the time to try it and see if it's going to save my $35 Rush Signals re reissue. Okay. So I did get one. And so it comes with the, the rollers and the brushes and the, the cloths, which you, you wash ahead of time and whatnot, and, and the fluid. So, you know, you, you fill it with distilled water, you add the appropriate amount of fluid, whatever it tells you to add, and then you take your vinyl and you spin it. You spin clean it. I'm not going to do it because, um, well, I guess it wouldn't matter. You put it in and you, you know, you rotate three times one way, three times the other, whatever it tells you to do. Of course, it's stiff because there's no water in it, but that's the way it works. Okay. Now, if I may spend another minute or two on this particular device i do like it it has brought some of my records from um you know almost unplayable to very playable uh, if you're going to use the the normal terminology let's say it's brought some records from good condition to very good plus condition okay so i do recommend it uh, a few things that you know you should know about it is that uh, if you, you, you know, you have to let the records dry, uh, you, you know, you take them out, you know, after you spin them both ways and all, you know, use, follow the instructions and you use it the way it's supposed to be used. By the way, this fluid seems to, seems to take all the dirt particles and it sinks them to the bottom of the, of this reservoir in here. See, I'll just show it to you there. All right. That's what it seems to do. And that's what I've read that it does. So it, you know, it's, it's not just water. It's got, there's. See, there's foam in there. It's doing something. And I think that's what it's doing is it's taking the dirt away from, from the vinyl. And then get a dish rack or something, you know. Uh, you know, you dry them off with your cloths, however you decide to, you know, to do it. And then you, you get a dish rack and you put the records there and you let them sit for an hour, two hours, whatever it is. Overnight even, put a blanket over them so dust doesn't fall or whatever. And then you can either play them or put them away. If you take them straight out of here, dry them with these towels and put them on and play them right away, you might end up with more noise 
than you had to begin with. Dry the records and let them dry, air dry for quite a while before you play them and use distilled water, okay? So I do recommend it. I, I, I use it. I've, I've cleaned many records with it. And as a matter of fact, I have an application, an app on my tablet, and it's called Vinyl Wall. And let me see if I can quickly, I didn't plan on this. There it is right there. Um, it allows you to database all of your vinyl. Now, some of you might have more vinyl than I do. I don't have that much. I don't know how many I have. 200 maybe? Um, some of you have thousands, so it's going to take you a while. But so what I've been doing is I've been, see how it, it you know, you can scroll. And if you click on a, oh, let's see, which one do I want to show? Oh, it's that one there. You know, then you can, it, you can put in all the information. You can put in the condition of the record, the condition of the cover, you know, very good plus and whatever, whatever. And I put in as a comment, I put in cleaned, which means I cleaned the record. So I'll know that next time I go to play the record, I can look in here in, in, in vinyl wall and um, and see if I've cleaned it and what the condition of the record is. It's a great database. It's free. Okay, it's called Vinyl Wall on Android, and I believe you can get it on uh, iOS as well. All right, so there's a little tip for you. So I do recommend it. If you can't afford a big machine that's got all these you know vacuum cleaners on it, then get one of these, use it as directed, and make sure the records are dry before you clean. Okay, some records you can't. Um, get all the noise out of because it's not dirt it's scratches and even though it might be dirt some dirt is uh gets ground into the grooves when you play the record so you know there's a piece of dirt in there you're playing the record the stylus is you know however many hundred thousand whatever it is you know pounds per square inch or whatever it is on there it's it's generating some heat in the groove there and sometimes the grooves get uh, flexible and they can, um, the, the dirt can get sort of melted into them. So that's why it's really important to just don't slap records on and just start playing them. You got to clean them with this brush first or, or this, one of those spin things or whatever device you want to use. And then you've got the best chance of not further damaging your records by, you know, basically forcing the dirt into the grooves permanently. Okay. Um, so that's cleaning your records. If you want to go spend money on one of those big machines, well, go ahead. And you know, some people have, um, I, I don't have one, so I can't show you. Some people have tried different things. Um, they've got different solutions that they've come up with that they see, they think works really well. And I have no problems, uh, with you guys. If you want to comment down below, please tell me what works for you. I'd love to hear it. Uh, everyone's got their own, you know, method that works. And so uh, I'd love to hear what you guys, what you have as a method of cleaning your vinyl. Okay, now, as important as it is to clean your, rec your vinyl records, um, it's also important to clean your stylus. And how do I know this? Because when I first bought this spin clean thing, um, I was putting the records on and they still sounded scratchy and weird. Um, after I cleaned them and I, I couldn't figure out why even some new ones did so I got out my um, Magic eraser, of course, I have one of these little brushes too, which you know is great to have just to give your stylus a little brush between between vinyl between records or between sides even and just you know brush it off get any hairs or anything off there and then um, or to be more thorough uh, I've heard that this works and I it's a magic eraser and it does work. Um, it does clean the record, the, the stylus, sorry. It gets some of the crap off of it. I don't have a microscope, but it did improve the sound quality. However, it didn't seem to last as long. It really uh, was weird, kind of st uh, strange to me that my stylus was getting that dirty, even with, you know, new records. So I ended up going out and splurging and getting one of these things here. And they're not cheap. Um, I'll just bring it a little bit closer. It's one of these little uh, silicone or whatever they're made out of um, bubble things. It's a, it's a it's a very soft sort of a uh, not rubbery but sticky substance. You know, uh, like a like a like a very stiff gel, right? 
and uh, I recommend it. I don't know what brand this is. Uh, I don't know. <laughs> can you can you guys read that if I put it up close to the camera? I do have high res uh, videos on this channel, so. Anyway, that's what it says, and I got it from Amazon, and it wasn't cheap. Talk about, you know, $50 for a little thing that cleans your stylus, but it does work very well. It's got a magnifier on it, so you can kind of, you know, look at your stylus. Let's give it a whirl here for a sec. Let's take this off. I love being able to remove my cartridge from my turntable, just like that. And um, so I guess the idea is that you, you know, you, of course, you just carefully... Uh, dab your stylus onto it says to do it twice so of course I'll do it three times just because okay so that's how you do it all right and it works okay so I do highly recommend that you get something and make sure your stylus is kept clean now we got to figure out how to get this back together there we go so that was a good investment for me and you know I don't have anything against these things. It's just quickly between sides. And if the magic eraser is all you can afford, definitely it's better than nothing. Um, but if you can get one of these, then I, I certainly would like to see you having this at your on your arsenal belt for cleaning your stylus. Okay. So that's what um, I do. Now, I'm not going to do a before and after cleaning with the spin clean thing because every record is different. And so, you know, some records, they clean up really nice. And it's like, wow. And I've got like a Bee Gees uh, main chorus album that someone gave me. And it was it was rough. You know, I, I wouldn't listen to it. And I ran it through that spin clean thing. And I, I love it. I don't even mind playing it on my live broadcast now. It's, it's, it's shaped up really nice. Um, so in some records, uh, they really they sound brand new again. Others don't. Because the grooves are, you know, been destroyed, or they've been, um, the dirt's been ground into them, or there's scratches that you can't get rid of. So it depends on the record, and there's plenty of videos on YouTube you can watch. But just suffice to say that I'm telling you that for me, the spin clean thing does work very well, and especially for the price, it's a very good starting solution for you. And I don't think I'll be getting one of those vacuum things anytime soon. Okay, so that's it. That's what I do for cleaning. And um, other than just, you know, keeping things nice and, you know, shiny and new and everything. <laughs> it's all good, too. I love my vinyl, and I'm really glad you guys are enjoying it, too, if you are. And if you're not, you should be, okay? Thank you so much for watching. Please thumb up or thumb down, whichever you want to do. It's all, it's all good. And subscribe and click the little bell over there so that you get notified when I post new videos on this channel, because I will be doing many more things on here. Okay? Thank you so much for your support. Post your comments down below, and we'll see you real soon. Thanks, guys. Vinyl is final. Keep spinning it. Thanks.